So in this video, I wanted to talk about this. It's a HDMI to S video converter. So I've actually bought this on eBay from a Chinese seller and it doesn't work. It arrived, the box is fine. It just doesn't work. And so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it, show you the problem with this thing. And maybe you'll learn something about this thing. So let me show you the issue with this. So first off, we plug in the HDMI and the power and the S video cable. And let's see what we have on the screen. So we get a bunch of static and you can ignore the rolling shutter or that's just because of camera settings. But this picture is no good. So unplug that S video and plug in the RCA video and it's a better picture. It's not perfect, they're still static, and the picture's a little bit wobbly. So let's unplug this, plug back in the S video, and plug back the RCA video connector. And we get a better picture, but there's still a bunch of static in there, and it's still no good. So let's open this thing up. Okay, so here's the PCB, and actually, uh, you probably saw from the pictures before that this PCB was really filthy and dirty, and it actually had, like, really long legs on it. So I just took some snips, snipped it up, I re -wet all the joints. So let's get started here. So the first thing we need to do is actually put a ground on here, and actually this pin right here is our ground. So I'm just going to take some wire, put the ground on there. It's probably more solder than we need. And we're just going to take it up to this one right here in the corner. That bottom one there. Alright, so that's grounded. The next thing we need to do is we need to pull the signal from here. Uh, this is our RCA video connector here. This is the actual signal line right here. So this one's the signal, and this one is the ground. We gotta pull this one to this pin here. And this is gonna really, really improve the quality of the signal. You're not gonna give me more static. So it's not strictly necessary, but I did some testing and it's actually better if you do it this way. We're almost done. So from here, this thing actually works okay. Um, you don't have any static, and it's good enough. But the picture is really dark. So what I'm going to do is use this resistor. This is a 33 ohm resistor, and I tried a 64 ohm or 65 ohm. It didn't do any better. So we're going to use this one, and we're going to put it between this pen here and this pen here and this is going to make the picture a lot brighter actually let me just snip these legs off I'm going to flux up the uh, resistor here ideally you would use like a bit of wire in between this I'm not caring too much but ideally you do something like this snip this end put some wire here doesn't matter too much. As I say that, it's probably just as easy to actually do it. So we'll just do it anyway. Okay, so camera just died. Sorry about that. Um, so basically what I've done here while you were gone is I just soldered a wire onto this resistor to this pin right here. And then to recap, this pin right here goes to ground. This pin here goes to the RCA video signal line. And then the ground for the RCA video goes through a 33 ohm resistor to this pin right here. And so basically what we're doing with this is we're stealing the signal from the RCA jack and then providing a good ground 
to the S video. So basically what was going on in the S video, if I measured the ground, it was something like 500 ohms, which is crazy. That That's not a ground. We properly grounded it. By putting the resistor here, we brightened up the picture. Now, this isn't going to be as good as if it was actually S video. But if we look on the front here, we can actually see the S video connection is going through this IC here and then separate lines are going to the S video here. So my guess is that these resistors right here are actually incorrect. Well, actually it's a capacitor and a resistor and then another cap. My guess is they're incorrect. That's why the picture is all screwy. Or they're not, there's some sort of interference in the circuit. I don't know what this chip is, so I didn't want to dig up some Chinese data sheets and try and learn Chinese to fix this thing. So instead, we did that. So we were basically stealing the signal from the RCA connector and mixing it with the S-Video signal. And you might be wondering, well, if there's that much interference with the S-Video signal, what about audio? Well, I just have this, this TV right here to test it on, but I'm not hearing any, any sort of distortion or static in the line. So let's, with this all fixed up, let's go and test it. And uh, I'll show you what it looks like now. Okay, so that's how you fix this thing here, and I'll link it down below in the video description for those of you that want to actually check it out and fix it yourself. But I just wanted to mention, I think it's really shitty for a company to sell a product, advertise it to do a thing, you buy it, and it doesn't do the thing. So, I mean, it, it's $20, it's made in China, I know quality control is low, but I mean, you, you make a PCB, you make a product, you test it, it doesn't work, you fix it. I mean, it's just part of making a product. I don't know why this thing is even, this shouldn't exist. It, as far as I'm concerned, they shouldn't be selling this. It doesn't work as advertised, literally by design. It can't physically work as advertised. So I, yeah, don't, don't buy this unless you wanna fix it yourself. <laughs> so that was the video. If you liked the video, put a like down below or subscribe, hit the notification bell, do whatever you want. And until next time, bye.